Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I am a pediatric physical therapist. I'm here with Eli, and Eli was born two and a half months ago. He was one month premature, and he is a fraternal twin. And hey, and uh, we're working on the head control scale today. This is a new test that I came aware of. Yeah, became aware of. It is by Armstrong. Heimsoth and Thomas. And it is uh, a test that looks at babies in four different positions and scores how they do. The first one is laying on their belly. So let's put you on your belly. Here we go. Hi. I'm going to roll you over, okay? Here we go. Rolling you over. So on this, they look at their head control when they're on their stomach. And, and if he can lift up his head 45 degrees or not, and how long. So, ooh, here comes his head. Oop, there we go. I thought it saw 1,001, 1,002. That was a nice pick up of the head and turn it off to the side. Oh, I see. I see. Can you lift up your head again? Hi. Can you lift up your head again? Hi. So it looks like right now, he lifts up his head less than five seconds for 45 degrees. And so on this test, does not lift head at all is zero points, but one point is lift head less than 45 degrees for less than 45 seconds. So I'd say that, that is where, um, where he is. So the next one is on laying on his back. So I'm gonna give a point right here. So the next one is laying on your back and it's unable to keep head in midline. So hi, let me see you. I see. Hey. Hi. How are you? Hey. I see that sweet little smile. So on this test, zero points is unable to keep head in midline. Looks like he's able to. And the number one point is unable to keep head in the midline, but attempts to approach, uh, uh, approaches midline. You've got your head in my, midline. Number two is able to keep head in midline for five seconds. Hey, just a little off midline here, but mostly in the middle, I'd say. No, three points is able to keep head in midline for greater than five seconds, but less than 15. And the fourth one is able to actively rotate head in both directions. So let's see. Hi. Over here, is that arm going to block you? Hey, I see. Uh -huh. Let's see. Hey, and what about over here? Hi. Hey, let's see how far over you go. Hi. I see. It looks like. Um, he's able to turn his head freely both directions, but is not getting fully off to the side. So I'd probably make a comment, can head, turn head side to side, but not fully. So I'm not going to give full points, but I am going to give the three points. Able to keep in head in midline for more than five seconds, but less than 15, actually. Pretty good, actually. The next one is a pull to sit. So uh, I'm going to do a pull to sit to see where you are in your head control. Ooh. And so what we saw right there was a complete head lag. If there's an attempt to pull up your head, ooh, that looks so hard. Then you get one point. If your head is in midline in the last 25% of the movement of the pull to set, ooh, then you get two points. If your head's in line during 50 to 75% of the movement, you get three. And if your head's in line at all times, you get four points. But I'm gonna score you as having a complete head lag, so I'm gonna give you zero points on that one. And the next one is supported sitting. Hi. I see. So in supported sitting, you get zero points if your head falls into full flexion. You're doing a good job of keeping up your head with that yawn, I saw it. 
If they make an attempt to right their head but are unable, they get one point. That looks like he's got his head up. If he assumes and maintains head in less than 45 degrees of cervical flexion for 10 seconds, we're doing better than that, that's two points. Three is assumes and maintains head in midline for 10 seconds or less. Oopsie. Hmm. I'd say his head is tilted off a little to the side, not fully centered. So I'd say somewhere around in here, uh-huh. Hmm. I'd say at least a two, probably a two and a half. And on this test, you can make comments about where you're scoring. So uh, three is assumes head in midline for, and holds for 10 seconds. There's still a lot of movement of his head and not really holding it steady, especially the longer I have him up here. So I think I'm going to score hmm, a two and a half because we're almost there. So they say by four months of age, a baby should be able to get full points on all of these. Of course, Eli is adjusted to a month and a half of age, so I'm not expecting him to score all the way up. There is no scoring for this test other than knowing by the four months of age you should be able to get all of these items. I really like this head control scale as a way to quantify head control in the different positions, and that's a way that I can show progress over time with a baby. I hope this is helpful for you, and I'll put the link in the description for this new head control assessment scale. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. If you liked this video and would like to be notified by email when the next video comes out, click the subscribe button here and click the golden bell icon and ensure notifications are enabled on your account.